In the previous episode you learned how to configure and launch a remote task. In this demo, you will learn how to fill a machine queue for tasks in an efficient way, by using custom groups. Let's get started. In order to understand how custom groups can help us, let's take a look at a real-life example of a remote task configuration. As you can see, in the network browser, we have a complicated network structure with multiple domains, workgroups and computers. Let's configure a shutdown task to be executed on a particular set of computers, that belong to different domains. As you already know, configuration of the machine queue is a required step of the remote task setup. So here, during the second step of the wizard, we can expand the entire network structure and select the required computers, to be added to the machine queue. This is a manual process that takes some time, because we need to find and select a pretty large number of computers. Great! We have completed the machine queue configuration and can now finalize the creation of the shutdown task. As you see, the corresponding item has appeared in the calendar. It will be launched in the evening to switch off the configured computers. Now we should create a complementary task to switch these computers on in the morning. Let's create a wake on LAN task. During this step, we should configure the machine queue, as we did for the shutdown task. It's clear that this approach is not very efficient, because we need to repeat the same machine queue configuration action over and over again. For example, to reboot these computers or to send them a message, we need to configure the same machine queue. In order to simplify the configuration process for such tasks, we should be able to create custom groups of selected computers, and use them to fill machine queues. Remote Shutdown features an option of creating custom groups, so let's see how it works. In order to create a custom group of computers, we can use the button located on the ribbon bar. This dialog allows us to assign the name to the new group, and select the computers that should be added into the group. Let's select computers that were configured for the shutdown task, and confirm the group creation. Excellent! The new group has appeared in the custom grouping area. We can expand it to see the list of computers it includes. This custom group can be managed quite easily. For example, we can remove a certain computer using the respective context menu action. Or add a new computer by selecting it on the network browser, and dropping it into the group. Well, we have created a custom group and can now use it to speed up the task's configuration process. Let's create a wake on LAN task using the created group. During the step of the wizard, we can see our custom group on the right pane. To fill the machine queue and add the required computers, we can simply uncheck the network node on the left and check the custom group node on the right. It's really easy, isn't it? But there is another, even more efficient way of configuring remote tasks, which fills machine queue automatically. Let's try it. If we need to configure a remote task to be launched on a particular group of computers, we can select this group and use the context menu to start the task configuration. When we go to the machine queue configuration step, we can see that our group is already selected, so there is no need to make any selection manually. Excellent! Now you are familiar with custom groups, and can use them in your day-to-day -day work in order to enhance the efficiency of remote tasks configuration. In the next episodes, you will learn more about the task options and scheduling. Stay tuned!